Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to add config the analog output model SM332 58F00 0AB0. Okay. Here is the uh, analog module yeah, of PLC S band 300, and here is the detail of uh, terminal. Yes, for uh, wiring from channel uh, zero to uh, channel seven. Okay, totally of this module, uh, we have uh, eight channels for analog output. And I will use uh, Schematic Manager software to config and uh, download to the CPU 314C to PN slash DP. Okay. Uh, this part is the onboard of uh, I/O. Yes, and this is the external card. In the previous video, we already learned about how to add the analog input uh, this model, and uh, we already uh, tested with the actual PLC also. Okay. So uh, before go to uh, configuration, I would like to explain a little bit about the wiring connection of this terminal. Okay. So uh, there are 30 terminals in this uh, lock, yes, in this module. For uh, zero, sorry, uh, one to uh, 30, 30 uh, terminal uh, for uh, channels, and from this to uh, 38. Uh, for channel also okay so first I would like to uh, explain about how to wiring when we select to use a uh, voltage so uh, let's go so if we would like to use the connection via voltage we can use uh, this uh, terminal yes Let's see here, channel 0, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, channel 6, until channel 7. Okay. This is a 4-way connection with a voltage. Okay. And I will uh, draft this one, conclude this one also, between a voltage and M. Okay. So uh, the second one, I would like to show uh, how to wire it with current. Yes, this one. It is the model name. Yes, and this is a uh, wiring with uh, current output. It start from uh, channel zero until channel seven also. Okay. So. Uh, this is a wiring with a current and I would like to drop all this for uh, show also yes here is uh, the conclusion for uh, this uh, two with uh, wall or current for voltage uh, we will use terminal number four and number five number four is plus number five is minor and with, if we would like to uh, use the current output, we can use uh, number 3 and number 6. Number 3 is plus and number 6 is minus for channel 0. And for channel 1, we can use the same, yes. Number 7 is plus, number 10 is uh, minus for current, number 8 is plus for wall, number 9 is minus for wall until channel number 7 yeah, because totally number of channel is 8 
and don't forget uh, supply the voltage 24 volt to a terminal number 1 and number 20 for uh, number 1 we uh, connect with the 24 voltage plus and uh, terminal number 20 we connect 0 volt okay so this is a drawing of this uh, model yes so let's go to uh, configuration yes okay so first uh, open uh, schematic manager version 5.6 right now i use it and i will use the existing project that we already learned in the previous video so let's go to hardware configuration And then go to the schematic 300 and go to SM and then go to AO, right? Because we uh, use AO. So let's go to uh, find the model that we use. This one, yes. Let's see this one compare with the slide, yes. Okay. 3C25. AF00 okay C32 YAF00 okay so drag and drop this one to the slot to the rail yes and then make the configuration yes here so to configuration with the wall or M for output we can double click and then go to uh, output and this uh, start address, earn address, we can uh, use the default, but this one we can uh, change. Example, channel number 0 until channel number 7, yes. So if we use example, uh, channel number 0, I use current, so I can select from uh, 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 20 milliamp, okay. Right now, I will use a uh, current for channel number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 0. And for channel number 7, until, sorry, number 4 until number 7, I will use a uh, volt, yes. And then I will use 0 to 10 volt, yes. 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 10 volt, and this one also volt, 0 to uh, 10 volt also. Okay. So channel number 0 until number 3 is uh, current, yes. Zero until number 3 is current, and number 4 until uh, channel number 7 is volt. Okay. And I will test one by one to show for everyone about how to measure the current and volt by using the multimeter. Okay. So that's all for configuration between uh, analog output, A channel, or PLC S band 300. Okay. So after we configuration, click OK and then save the project. Yes. And I will download this project to the PLC. After that, I will test uh, one by one of channel to show. Okay, so let's go. Okay, uh, before download to the PLC, please make sure we can uh, ping from uh, our PC to the PLC. We are 192.168 dot zero dot one okay so it uh, reply like this it means that we can connect or communication between our pc to the plc if we cannot ping uh, like this example i will take out the lan cable yes it show like this let's check the communication yes make sure we uh, put the manual mode for the 
land cable yes i will show here we must put the manual ip address 192.168.0 anything but not one okay because uh, ip1 is the ip of the plc okay so right now i uh, connect back to the plc for lan cable so i can ping again yes it uh, connected okay so uh, let's go to download yeah click this button and then click uh, select all and click ok and then uh, wait a moment for uh, connection yes it will found automatically between uh, PC and uh, CPU so wait a moment actually we can use this uh, channel or this analog to control another device example damper or VSD or everything that use 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 20 milliamp okay so I will click view for view the CPU status yes okay right now it found one CPU yes that uh, the same as the IP address that we uh, ping yes so click OK and then click uh, OK and then click yes to download so uh, right now uh, we already uh, download to the PLC yes and now and then we uh, can test yeah to test the signal Please remember the address that start. Yeah, it will start from PQW two zero two, right? So let's go to PLC and then go to the monitor modify variables. Yes, and then uh, write the IP or sorry write the address. Yeah, so PQW QW 272 yes and change this one to uh, decimal and uh, please remember yes please remember this uh, values yes it is the same as the analog uh, input also yes this one so when we put uh, zero, it means that zero milliamp or four milliamp. And if we put uh, this value, yes, we will got uh, twenty milliamp. Okay. So seven, sorry, two seven six four eight. Okay. So we can modify the value two seven six four eight and then uh, click this button yes we will got uh, 20 milliamp yes I will show on the multimeter okay right now let's see here the channel number 0 is show uh, 20 milliamp I will uh, decrease the value yeah example 13 0, 0 yes Yeah, let's see around uh, 11 milliamp yes okay and if I set 0 it will show around 4 milliamp yes okay example uh, 8000 yes 8000 around 8 milliamp okay in the next step we will test with the voltage right so uh, for channel number four yes channel number four we will uh, set from zero to ten volt right so channel number four I will use the yes PQW where it will start from PQ W two seven four right 
PQW 206 PQW 27 H yes PQW 27 280 right and I will change this one to decimal also yes and I will uh, connect the multimeter to uh, this channel. Yes. So uh, please wait a moment. So uh, this is a uh, channel four. Yes. Right now I already connected and select the meter to a uh, wall. So if I set uh, two seven. Set for H and let click here. Yes, let me show the the wall. It will show a uh, ten wall. Follow uh, our configuration. Yes. Let's see here ten wall. So if I adjust decrease to uh, zero zero, yes, it will show uh, four point seven wall. Okay. 8000 it will show 2.8 volt okay so it will follow our configuration if we select this one with uh, current it will uh, output with uh, current so if we uh, select this one to volt it will uh, output with uh, volt okay so it uh, will uh, follow by our configuration and connect to our device that uh, use example VSD use the wall we can select wall VSD or some electrical devices use current we can uh, select current okay so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question Please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to uh, say sorry if I have a mistake in this video also. And I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.